What and are you boots doing? and pants and boots and pants. I could hear the sound for once. Welcome to our Thursday night live stream. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you... <laughs> you screwed up. I did screw up, and I own it. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch, because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms, like Facebook, Instagram, and X. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we're back live on a Thursday night. At home. You'll be alerted to it. Welcome to our Thursday live stream. If you are new here, make sure Welcome. you say hi down below. We're glad to see you. Our Thursday live streams are a chance to just hang out with our community. We love answering questions. You can ask us pretty much anything within reason. Um, so if you have a question, go ahead and type question and then your question. Pregunta. And then also the other way you can get our attention is by using the super chat function, which is a little dollar sign down in the window. We do answer questions that are not super chats, but when you do a super chat, it does two things. Number one, it does benefit the channel. This is our full-time job. But more importantly, what it does is it actually highlights on our screen that you have a question so we can make sure we don't miss it. It's nice to be home. Though it I'm is. trying to get back in the routine of being home. You pulled a butt muscle or something today, didn't you? I pulled my oblique muscle. So we literally oblique. got home and then immediately I had lacrosse games. So I've had lacrosse games every single day this week. I just got back from a lacrosse game and we I got there and the coach who I happen to really, really like this coach, he was like... Um, it doesn't influence your decision making. No, it does not. But I just... Does not. He's a he's a great guy. It's Calvary Christian. He is a great guy. And his dad literally wrote the book on lacrosse. Like literally wrote a book on lacrosse. But it's it's the lacrosse. way he coaches his players. He like he doesn't scream at them. He coaches them really well. He gets a lot out of them. He does not tolerate nonsense from them. He doesn't tolerate them talking back to officials. You know, like it's That is nonsense. But it's, it's a rare occurrence to see a coach who respects his players, respects the officials, teaches his players to respect officials and players and the game. And so I really like it. Uh, and so I he's like, we're playing six quarters. And two of my two partners are like, we have games. And he's like, Joe, can you stay? And I'm like, I have a live stream. He's like, can you? I'm like, for you, I will stay. And of course, I stay. I twist the wrong way pull my oblique muscle, and now I can barely, like, walk. So, I can run, but I can't stop. When you stop, Just keep going, it Forrest. Hurts. Just keep going. But I have two games tomorrow, so I'm a, li I'm a little, little concerned. Keep me in prayers. We definitely will. Thank you so much to Mary T. It looks like she has been a part of our channel, a channel supporter, 27 months. That's amazing. Thank That's you amazing. Thank you so much. She's also Thank an you. amazing moderator in our really Facebook group. incredible young lady. I do want to say, for I, we've gotten a couple of people who have uh, put in reservation requests for the 2KK December cruise. <gasps> uh, I'm just a little behind. I'm going to be processing them later tonight or tomorrow. So don't worry. I've got it. We're going to go ahead and put that in. There are still some cabins available. How exciting. I believe we're up to about 28 people or so. Uh, I did put a deposit on all the leftover rooms, so we have until September to fill up the rooms. But again, once they're filled up, they're filled up. Like, we are not going to expand beyond what we have. No, because we want to keep it nice and intimate, make sure that, like, you know, we can hang out with everybody. I, I'm so stinking excited for this. I think it lo looks like we have a super chat from yes, Shy Gal. Shy Gal, thank, thank you. you very much for the $10 super chat. Said, so glad you're back. We're Let glad me to go be ahead back. and turn that on. Uh, said, uh, OMG, you're cracking uh, me up. Thanks for being here tonight. Jamie said that Rachel has to give Joe a butt rub, maybe with some red nose. Yeah, I, I think that I that's take, fair. I will take a nice rub down. Man. You want to give me a nice rub down? I'm telling you what. <laughs> this this joker right over here. Me? I, you know me, what? Me? I, I, like filming on RV Unplugged, we don't have to worry about what's going to come out of my mouth. It's what's going to come out of Rachel's mouth. Possibly. <laughs> 
<laughs> possibly. I see my mom is here. So good to see you, mommy. Um, definitely this particular live stream is dedicated to my great aunt Phyllis who went home to be with Jesus on a Tuesday night. 96 years old. We're so privileged to have her as really a, a matri matriarch within our family. Yep. Uh, her, her, we're really hurting because of her loss, but but we know that she had a beautiful Valentine's Day for sure. Chris said, "Hey everyone, I'm just listening for now. I got to make 18 kiddo child food or stuff for lunch tomorrow." Dang! So that's what happens when you've got a large family. You yes. need to, if lunch tomorrow means 18 kiddo child props. So. I am going to do this and not complain about when I have to prep for something, right? When I have to prep for, for the next day, I can kind of complain like, oh, I got to do prep. But I don't have to prep for that, that many people. Chris said 18 will last four of us to drink Keto Chow three to four days. Wow. So I'll probably make more on Sunday. Speaking of Keto Chow, we are so excited about this oh my gosh i can stop complaining and crying i have been begging chris for these daily minerals in capsule form i gotta see how big this thing for is. a long time and i have seen a bunch of comments that like wow you need to take so many Are you gonna of open them one? um I yeah open i'll both. open it and like people have said well, like, oh like this is the company trying to make more money selling more Here's the thing, like I've talked to Chris about it. The reason you have to take so many of these is because the concentration oh my gosh. of Do you know like some stuff is in here. Well, there's so many different minerals in here. Yeah. In order to get the right amount, you need to take a whole bunch of them. But if you're like me and you don't like the taste of the daily minerals, <laughs> this is a good option. You also could do half and half. You can put a little bit of daily minerals in your food I and then also would, take these. I would like to speak to the person who's ever taken the liquid form of the daily minerals. A full and, dose, which don't do a full dose at once. And have said, mm-mm, good. Yeah. Boy, this is delicious. Why can't I have an entire beverage of just this? No, Nobody. So I've not met anyone. There is a link for these down below. You can use our Keto Chow link and you will get 10% off your entire order. That's not a subscription. And that's also including for salty. A lot of people ask us about salty for the electrolytes. That's these, which we passed a whole bunch of these off to Todd and Stephanie, the co-creators of RV Unplugged. They loved it. Because they do keto and they were using another company and when I gave these to them, they're like, these are so good. Delicious. They really, really, really like them. But again, if you want to get a discount, you have to buy them through Keto Chow using our link because there is not a current discount on the Salty website. I didn't even cry. You didn't I did cry? not even cry taking that. No. It didn't, it didn't taste like crying. So I think I think that's the that should be the motto. <laughs> Salty the daily minerals, much less crying. Half the crying. At least. Trace said, I finally tried the salty Coco Loco in our coffee, then immediately ordered a big bag of it. Wow. Absolutely love it. I really love it too. Yeah, that was actually when I was talking to um Stephanie from uh, RV Unplugged, she was that was the first one she did. She tried the Coco Loco and she's and like, it was so good. It is good cold, but it is really good hot too. Okay, let's get into some comments what again. If you have any questions, just go ahead and you can start asking them. I'd love to see if enjoying... anybody had any funny Valentine's things to share. Last night, our romantic comedy du jour was the vacation. Basically, the like remake. The remake of the National Lampoon thing. I guess it's not really a remake. It, it, it is another episode. It's basically rusty. Laughed so freaking it, hard. We didn't finish watching it. We fell asleep. And we, we have to finish watching. We got to We're the, up to the point right now where like they're at the four corners. We'll we'll leave it there. If you've seen the movie, I actually paused it because Rachel had to go to the restroom and I'm like this is like one of the funniest parts of the whole and thing. And you didn't want to miss it without me. Yesterday. There's a little naughty part in there, so you might have to. For Valentine's Day, Anthony watched, said, you want to watch something together, Mom? And I was like, yes. Um, and we watched Wonka, which is a musical. Right. And it was awesome. Really I don't good. usually like remakes of good classic movies. They did a movies, great job. But my understanding is they did a great job. Excellent. I'll have to watch it. Rachel, Anthony did buy it. Really Winter Park it. said hello. Hey. Aloha from Hawaii. Aloha. How are you? Shauna said uh, black coffee in my emotional support beverage mug. <laughs> this is my, my emotional support glass of um, cold brew, which we... 
fully intended to bring along, it was the Calpia Farms like unsweetened blonde roast that you just so graciously got for me and we did not pack. Got yeah, it stayed here. Yep. So I'm glad to enjoy it now. Tennessee Carnivore, thank you very much for the dollar and ninety nine super chat said I want to help you guys plan a Nashville meetup. How can I do that? Ooh. Go ahead and send me an email at uh, joe at twocrazyketos.com. Actually, you, the, you're better off sending it to Rachel because I somehow click on emails and then forget to answer them. Rachel at twocrazyketos.com. So crazy Rachel at twocrazyketos.com. And so if you don't know, we, like somewhere around the first week of April, we'll be driving up to Elkhart, Indiana. Woohoo! We're going to be spending about about seven to 10 days up there. And then we're going to head over to the East coast for a couple weeks and then down the East coast. We're coming for you, Indiana. And so, uh, we're going to stop somewhere along the way. Like probably I would say the Nashville area. I haven't decided if we're going to go like two days or three days on the drive up. Definitely. It takes a long time. It takes almost a day to get out of Florida itself. Uh, so it really we may do three days. It's about 19 hours of driving. It depends on how I feel. But we do want to, like, maybe not a full, full meetup, but like, hey, we're going to stop here for the day. Who wants to yeah. get together at, like, a Buffalo Wild Wings or, or just some kind of thing? Woohoo! FNP Feel Good says Elkhart is close to me. That's exciting. Maybe yes. We can now, get to if somebody is in that another. area, because we are going to be staying there for about seven to ten days, I would love to have somebody wants to help us arrange some kind of get together. Do not know the area at all. I spoke to the folks that uh, we know up there, and I'm like, they're like, um, what's there to do up there? And they're like, uh, the RV muse, the RV museum. I want to see that. But if I you do. didn't know, that is like the RV capital, like where all the RVs are made in the Elkhart, Indiana area. That's so exciting. We are going up there when it's a bit cold. Um, because again, first week of April, but it's still a <laughs> no little joke. exciting. You're no joke. You're not messing with me, right? No. April 1st is April Fool's Day. You're not going to try no, to... No, we'll probably leave on April Fool's Day. N no joke, though. No joke. I promise. Although, we, I know we can look forward to some kind of good joke from Keto Chow. I know. I, what do you think will be the flavor? I, don't I get, know. I get suckered Peanut every, butter and jelly. I oh, get they did that already. Every single time. Yeah. Because I re there was one year it was like chum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Purple Love and Nuna, Joe must be cold. Always. I am a little cold. Always cold. I am cold. a little cold. I don't know why I'm cold, but uh, I am a little cold. Plus, I love hoodies, so any chance I get to wear a hoodie, which is not very often, um, I like to wear it. Although, this is a pro tip for anybody that shaves their head. If his stubble grows out too much and then you put a hoodie up all over it, it the, gets, the fuzz I haven't tried this one yet. from the hoodie will get attached to your head and like create this, fake hair. Oh, wait. This is a good one. It didn't, oh. it didn't give me fuzzies. Although I should be hiding my head. We, we went up to the um, West Palm Beach RV show today just to awesome. kind of look around because it's a smaller, quiet show. We could do some filming. And uh, we were filming a fifth wheel. I went underneath and stood up and hit my head on the pin. And it's he's literally I got, got like a knot a right here. Right in his head. And I was wearing a hat. Can you imagine if I wasn't wearing a hat, what that would look like? No. And I don't want to think about it. Neely said, is that the hoodie you hey. got when you won RV Unplugged? Well, we can't tell you whether or not we right, won but, RV Unplugged. But what's funny. But I did order this hoodie. I like it too because we I like the logo. The, the, it's like such a cool the logo. teams talk about that. So teams are red and blue. That is n well known if you've watched our. We can't RV. tell you what team we're on or who our coach was. Uh, Unplugged season one. However, there's a common joke that anytime teams come together and hang out, you're not supposed to, right? Because you're got to keep them separated. But you're 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 purpling. You're purpling if you always come together. Well, you know us. We're going purple all time, yep. right? Like, you know, you want to be everybody's on your team yep. if you're Joe and Rachel. Uh, Sherry wants to know, did you win? Just kidding. I know we have to wait to find out. Yeah, we cannot it's gonna be fun. tell you I don't want to anything. ruin anything for anybody. You're, you're going to really enjoy the show. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited Me too. for it. Uh, let's see. Joanna said, it's a beautiful day here in Anderson, South Carolina. I am ready <laughs> for summer. I was uh, talking to somebody recently that had said that they love snow, but it needs to wrap it up at when you put away your Christmas decorations. And I thought, I, I feel that, right? Yeah. Like as soon as the holidays are over, um, we're ready for another season. All I know is that we were so excited when they moved RV Unplugged, which was originally supposed to film in Athens, Texas, where we would have froze our butt. 
cut off. Yes. Um, I did get a new truck out of it, so I should say that because the reason I got a new truck is we thought we were going to have to drive to Athens, Texas. And I was afraid that if we had a truck that did not have four-wheel drive, we would like... Die. Well, there was no way. There was no way you could drive from Florida so, to Athens, Texas. He didn't have to in convince January, me. In January, two-wheel drive, gas engine. It would have cost us like $2,000 in fuel. Let I mean, seven miles to a gallon. Think about so. that. And so, um, but when they moved it to Florida, I'm like, yes, home field advantage. Like, all these people are going to come from the Midwest, and they're going to be, like, so hot. And they're not going to be able to handle our humidity. And it was in the 40s and 50s Freezing. the entire time. Now, the week after RV Unplugged, sweating. it's in the 80s. And yeah. you're sweating. I mean, we were emptying out well, our RV. Well, this is what I was wearing to the show today, and it's shorts. Yeah. We were we were emptying out our RV, and we were running the air conditioner the entire time. The, I mean, it's it's been... Pathetic. Like, this is the weather that I wanted two weeks ago. Sorry, where Charlie. we would have had a home field advantage. We did learn that Rachel keeps a lot of stuff in the RV. We emptied the stuff out. I think we took almost 700 pounds of junk oh, out of the RV. Don't, Chris Miller is here. Don't embarrass me by telling my friend that. I, I think we had almost I'm 300 not pounds a good of clothes. RVer. I did have like 300 pounds of clothing. I mean, it was insane. Tote after tote. And I'm like, none of this is coming back into an RV. Like, it's no. just not. <laughs> It's like so much stuff. What is it? What's a dangerous thing when you have an RV? It's like you have a an extra storage unit like at your disposal. So what I was doing was putting all of like the clothes that I don't want to have to like put away and look for later, but I was just treating it like my summer wardrobe or my winter wardrobe, depending on the season, just lives out in the RV. Yeah. And I don't have to have closet space for well, it. Well, the problem was like, 10 bottles of shampoo and conditioner. Because every time we go on a trip, Rachel's like, we need shampoo and conditioner. I'm like, there's some already in there. There may not be enough. So the new rule is one bottle of each in the RV. If we run out while we're art camping, just go to the store and get another bottle. There was so much electrolytes and then also Redmond salt shakers. Apparently I'm- Six bottles of salt. Very concerned we're gonna run out of seasonings. Is apparently, that's the message I'm getting. Mary said, we watched season one of RV Unplugged. Hubby loved it. Nice. He's a seasoned camper. Oh. We both grew up camping, but when he met me, he had never camped in an RV, and I never camped in a tent. Wow. So if you liked RV Unplugged season one, you're going to love season two. Because RV Unplugged season one is the pilot. Right. Filmed by three guys who were not professional videographers running around with GoPros, and they were joking on set. There were like two microphones for the and entire they'd have cast. To pass they them. kept having to pass You'll mics. You'll see back them and look forth. like try to be like kind of cool with it, but yeah. yeah. Whereas this one, professional production company, like multiple like high end cameras, drones, everybody mic'd up, like ev the everything is it's it's gonna be survivor level like amazing race level production. So it was kind of funny. They were like deciding between the couples. Who talks the most? And let me give them the microphone. And so literally, I think every single person, cast, crew, and like neighbors just looked at me. Like, well, obviously it's Rachel. Right. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> okay, Winter Park has a question. Pregunta. I'm trying to stick with 20 total carbs. I was wondering if I should count pure allulose syrup or not. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so listen. Pure allulose syrup, it's not pure because there's something to make it a syrup, okay? Because allulose, it's probably mixed with water, which is yeah. fine. Here is the thing. More and more research is showing allulose is probably the best sweetener. It's still a newer sweetener, but it's probably the best sweetener on keto. Um, it, it does have a tendency to lower glucose, which is really cool. It does have some amazing properties. But the problem is, is when we're using sweeteners, as you saw in our net versus total carbs recent video, most of the time you're using it in a sweetener for like a dessert or something like that. Well, what else is going to be in that dessert? A lot of fat. You will tend to overdo it. I would rather you count all of the carbs in the allulose and up your carbs to 30 total carbs. That doesn't mean, oh, I'm at 30 total carbs, so now I can eat an Oreo cookie because that's 10 carbs. That's Obviously not what we mean. Not. I would just rather you count all of it and up it. When you count it all, as we discussed in that video, it means you're going to limit yourself to like one. I will make a pure confession here. During the entire taping of RV Unplugged, 
I had a, a set of Quest peanut butter cups almost every day. But those were really the only carbs I had the entire time we were there because everything else we ate was meat, maybe a little bit of cheese, but that was it. I wasn't allowed to have two because two would have put me well over the carbs that I want to consume. I, eat I would lot. like to eat two packages, but again, it's too easy to overdo it when you're counting net carbs. I ate a lot of bacon jerky. <laughs> you ate, like, we made 10 pounds I and think we I came home with like a pound of it. So we, I ate a lot of bacon jerky. People were like, that's a lot of bacon. I leaned heavily on meat. I was, a, honestly, it's not, I'm not like a better person, a cooler person. And like 20 boxes of meat thins. I just was like. A 17 pound brisket. I know that I can count on meat. So if I want to feel good, if I want to be fully present, dude, I don't mess around. I got to be the meat person. Yeah. Oh, Shauna, thank you very much, who has been a channel member for 28 months. Thank you. Months. Also made Michelle's flourless chocolate cupcakes yesterday. Still amazing. Love you guys. Well, I'm going to definitely pass that on. I am so looking forward to seeing our grandbaby this weekend. Talk about We Peyton. missed her first step. She, we had to watch that on video. I, I was like crushed. That was honestly We haven't seen the her since hardest. the beginning of the year. I really, really miss her. I can't oh, I cannot wait to see I her. I can't this stand weekend. it. So we're gonna see her this weekend. FMP Feel Good said we just booked our spring break trip. We're going <gasps> nice. to Hawaii. Wow. We got flights for three and it came out to fifteen hundred and twenty five dollars. That's impressive. That's great. We finally, finally, just two days finally ago booked our tickets for the Vegas conference me. because the Vegas like every airline, it was like well over almost a thousand dollars each round trip and we were looking at layovers like seven or eight hours and finally out of nowhere i noticed with jet blue who flies non-stop from fort lauderdale to vegas if we left on saturday we wanted to leave on sunday but if we left on saturday on the flight that leaves at midnight the return flight was only $120. Hello. Do we have to fly the plane? If we left Is on Sunday, that same flight went from $120 up to $590 one way. So we're just going to, I mean, listen, we still get all day Saturday because we're not going to leave until midnight. Right. So we're literally getting the entire day. Like I'm, I'm super happy about that. And then we played the JetBlue game with, hey, sign up for the credit card. You get $250 in thing back and then you pay it off. Plus you get the free baggage Ooh, and then Eileen's you pay it off. going to be there. We're going to see you in Vegas. Cannot wait I'm for so that excited. conference. I, this conference is going to change so many things. Uh, Jamie said, how many times will you be saying balls on RVM plug Me? season two? Me? A few. Uh, maybe a few. Are we giving anything away? <laughs> Shauna said, how many times did Rachel say balls on RVM plug? Hey, plugs? I'm sensing a reputation here. Balls. Uh, Paul said, I hear you, Joe. I'm a coach and an official and try hard to treat refs like I want to be. It's sometimes so hard. Yeah. In both ways. Especially when you're dealing with somebody that I think is like a habitual offender of rudeness. I was actually very upset at the game tonight. We A couple years ago, Anthony and I were, were officiating a game and we had an all-out brawl between 30. Remember this? Uh, it was a season Sadly, ender yes. for both teams. Both teams got suspended in the state. There were like 30 kids involved including a couple of the coaches. One of the coaches I actually witnessed take a helmet from a kid and hit a kid on the in the head with his own helmet. And that coach is still on the field. Mm. And that really upsets me because evidently there was no video footage, so the state couldn't do anything to him. Uh, but even though it was in our report. And that, that kind of stuff, when you have a coach who is doing that to kids, like to me he has no business on the field. No. And so it was upsetting to see that somehow he has finagled his way back on. He got suspended for, I guess, a year, and now he gets to be back on the field. Mm. Hopefully he has learned his lesson and, and doesn't treat kids like that because these are high school kids. Joanna said, I want the blue bottle of minerals to come back. I missed it. Was it was so when pretty. It was, oh, the glass bottle. Yeah. It's, it's really pretty. It's beautiful. Uh, Shauna said, secretly my OCD is saying, please peel off the rest of the white paper on the bottle. Where? I think I did. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. this. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I totally get that, too. That Andy said, me. daily minerals go in her coffee. 
As long as like you, you know, I put them on our food. You're covering it up. But I mean, I can't, I'm, I'm a straight shooter, but I can't straight shoot that. That's for sure. Uh, FMP Phil good said they vacation on the cheap and we're doing one of those sales pitch things to get a hotel stay by Waikiki oh, you Beach lost me. for like $500 for six. So I just got an I offer. can't do that, but that's awesome that you're doing it. I just got an offer as a travel agent for a pitch and it was, it was a five day cruise on... I don't remember which one. It was like MSC or something like that. It was five day cruise. It was going to cost us $125 to listen to the pitch. And I was leaving like, no, Rachel will not let me do this. I even can't though, do it. Even though it was only a one hour pitch. No. The last time we did one of those, it was like at um, like. I don't what, want to spend one was, hour in what hell. What was that one that we did? It was like not a vacation club. It was a timeshare in Orlando. Yeah. And we go to it, and they were paying good money. It was like hundred and fifty dollars. We're like, this is worth it. It paid for our hotel for the whole time we were there. And Didn't pay for the therapy. It was actually a really good deal. Like we were like, this one. Usually, I don't think timeshares are that great of a deal unless they really give you like many, many weeks. And we're like, this one is pretty good. But we don't ever make rash financial decisions. No. We're like, we're gonna go home. We want to talk about it. We want to pray about it. Don't impulse purchase something like right, that. Right, especially something that's like twenty thousand dollars. Dear right? Lord. That's like I'm walking past the car dealership. Hey, I want to. I don't need another car, but I'm gonna buy a car. car right. And so we made a comment that we need to go home and pray about it. And the guy looked at us and goes, that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. And like, so wow. we're like, we're done. And then <laughs> he just started insulting Rachel where she started crying. I just started bawling. So we we vowed we will never, ever do I one of those again. I looked at him again. and I said. I can look at them and say, not interested. Rachel cannot. Go. <laughs> go and do that. He got down to the point where he's like, you're a bad person. He did. He said that. You're a bad person. And I was like, who? <laughs> It was awful. What was Oh, so recently we were at the RV show. We were at the Florida RV Super Show and we needed to buy new furniture for our couch. So to me, it never hurts to ask, can I have a discount? Like you're having a show thing. I, I want a discount. Yeah. So I literally am talking to the guy. Hey, do you think we can? And Rachel goes, I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah. and so she comes back and I'm like, you didn't have to go to the bathroom, did you? And I she's can't like, haggle. No. She I can't just, haggle. That's why she won't go buy cars with me. I have never even asked for a discount like at a yard sale. So you know what this means? That if we ever move, I can just go pick out the house yes. and make all of the negotiations because you want nothing to do with I the haggling, right? I want nothing right? to do with the haggling. I mean, even like when I bought my, like when I bought the RV, when we bought Eleanor. I want no part of that. She didn't even go look at it. She's like, I trust you. Send me a picture. I want nothing to do with it. I can't I can't handle it. She cannot handle that at all. Are you a good haggler? Because, I mean, For I can't For me, do it. it's, the, it's the thrill of can I get them down. I had, we did a yard sale once. And I was selling every article of clothing, no matter what it was, prom dress to a t-shirt. It was 25 cents. 25 cents. I'm just trying to get rid of it. Somebody came up and said, I will give you 23 cents for that. I'm like, that was the only time where I was like, I am not breaking a quarter, okay? Like, why don't you just take it? Like, if you need it, take it. But I, I can't, I can't haggle. I can't do it. So listen, John said the order minimum is only fifty dollars for free shipping on the new website. Yes, that is true. But you don't excuse me, but you can't get a ten percent discount. I like a discount. So my thing is is I will just wait until I have a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Same. Uh Jesse said hey, which Jessie. collagen is better and dissolves well in iced coffee? Perfect keto or further foods? I have never tried further foods, so I really could yeah. not tell you. Perfect keto like mixes like And I know, have not tried well. their collagen in a while. I know they're like in because the old owners um have kind of taken over the company, so they're kind of like redoing things, trying to rebuild the company because the old owners put it in them in a huge financial hit. And so I have not tried their collagen. I'm waiting for them to like restock things, but I haven't tried further foods. Uh, collagen, we will usually just add for flavor or something like that because it's not a complete protein, so you should never count the protein that you would get in collagen. 
Uh, Sandy said, I'm working through my first bag of salty. All, all the, the things. things. I love that name. What is your favorite flavor of salty? I can't decide. Oh, uh, I, I like the mango. I like the orange. I, I'm surprised how much I like the mango. I, I do like Booyah Berry, but I probably still use both of the chocolate ones the most. Like the yeah. caramel and, and the chocolate, the, the cocoa. I, I love those. That I use those a lot. I like the only and the only flavor I would say my least favorite, other than unflavored, my least favorite is the lemon lime. Oh, really? That is my least favorite. And I don't know why. There's just it's not my favorite. One thing I I love the watermelon. Orange, anything I, orange is good to me. Look, I'm drinking orange sickle. I right now. really yeah. enjoy the 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 salty mixes so well, even in cold or tepid water that I find myself drinking it and it almost is like a chocolate milk to yep. me. A cold. Uh, excuse me. Nancy said, I love your sweatshirt. Thank Are they available you. to purchase on RV Unplugged? Yeah, if you go to RV Unplugged's website, they have all of the shirts and stuff. I actually ordered this myself. They did not give this to me. I ordered it because this is with a company that they're using called Skiddo. And they do a lot of like, um, like print to order. So... One of the issues that we've always looked at, people are always like, hey, can you guys do more t-shirts? We use Amazon. The problem with Amazon is they only do t-shirts. They don't right. do hats or mugs or things like that. I like the fact with Amazon that it is like when you buy it, all of our shirts that we have that are listed on our website, they are Amazon Prime. But we've been talking to some people and with this company, they do other things like Stanley mugs and and these and hats. So I wanted to check out their quality because the prices are not horrible with them. So we are in the process of trying to find a company. Somebody told us about this design company where we would like a new logo. If yeah. any of you are designers, we would love to talk to you. Like graphic designers, if you send us an email at uh, twocrazyketos at gmail.com or Joe or Rachel at twocrazyketos.com, we're, we want to design a new logo. I want. I love our avocado logo, but the problem with the avocado logo color. is, um, I it it it's only full color. And so, if you want something black and white, like to engrave on a mug, you can't. Which is where the two KK logo came from. Rachel drew that. She doesn't like it. I don't. So we are looking for somebody that can design a new logo for both of our channels, as well as a two KK logo where we can have 2KK for meaning both channels, but not just that 2KK. And so somebody told us about this com this company where you basically go in, it's kind of like Fiverr, but not really. You, you put down a certain amount of money, not a lot, and it basically becomes a competition. I think that sounds fun. You get like fun. 60 to 80 designers who design it. You pick the one you want, and they're the ones who win the money for the design logo. I like that type of like a contest. Yeah, and our friends cool. uh, Chris and Martha from Venturesome Couple, they, they said it was like a great experience. And you get so, but if you're a graphic designer, let us know because we really do want to redesign some logos. Maybe one, not get rid of the avocados, but add to it. And one one shirt we're definitely going to be coming out with is a shirt for, on Fridays, we're going to start wearing red. We want to start doing uh, red Fridays for the military. Right. We do to honor those who are currently Which deployed. is why we want a 2KK logo for both channels. Instead of having like a, you know, here's our two crazy kiddos shirt. Here's our two, just like 2KK supports our troops on right. red Friday or so something So like basically that. on Fridays, we will be wearing red. Yeah. Um, Crystal said, I made up the keto chow, keto chow baked potato with some rutabaga Ooh. in a fruit processor. It helped a lot with the earthy taste of rutabaga. Nice. Yeah, rutabaga definitely needs really some good. help. really good. Um, let's see. I'm glad Nancy was looking for a hoodie because she looks really good in a hoodie. Nancy, you're super cute in a hoodie, girl. Uh, Carol said, I put the caramel vibe salty in my keto chow caramel macchiato oh, shake. Oh, my gosh. Dang. So good. I've got to add that to, to caramel macchiato because I bet that just adds, like, a sweetness that's perfect. So, uh, FNP Feel Good said, wants to know uh, about the Nashville meetup. So, again, we just said because we're going to be driving up, we're going to stop somewhere. No plans we yet? We just don't know where. Uh, we're waiting for definitive dates. They're asking us to be there somewhere around April 3rd to the 5th. So uh, if you didn't know, by the way, we're having a brand new RV custom built for us up in Yay, Elkhart. I'm so excited. Uh, Matt, Matt. Matt said Elkhart is close to where he grew How up. How cool is that? 
Uh, Joanna said, I hope you'll be near me in western South Carolina. I, well, we're going to be driving back down the I east coast, but I don't know where to yet. to meet you in person, Miss Joanna. I would love that. This will not be our only trip uh, for the year in the RV. No. Um, let's see. Sherry said, looking forward to attending my first meetup next Ooh. month in Ohio. Oh, how awesome. Now, if you are looking for a meetup, don't forget, go to lowcarbevents.com. And there's lists of every meetup that Chris knows about. If you're going to host one, make sure you fill out uh, an application for lowcarbevents.com so we can get that information up. I love seeing everybody having meetups all over the country. We definitely saw more of that last year, and I'm hoping that we're going to see that number grow this year. Chris said, I think you guys need to stop here on your way first yes. layover after three hours. I we'll agree. definitely stop with you on the way home. But I don't know. It it might work because again, to go up to Elkhart, we need to go up like I seventy five and then cut across, just like we were going to Keto Palooza. But just, that's sort of on the I way. I miss Chris and Megan. Just want to see them. But it it's a little thing. It's how long does it take to get up to Titusville? I guess it's about closer to like four or five hours. Why do you think that I have that information at hand? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> asking. Uh, Carrie wants to know how is the weather in Florida, Joe? It is, uh, it's been warm nice. the last couple of days. Yeah. Joanna said, I can't wear hoodies. The hood pulls down my back and strangles me. I can't I, stand that. I tend to like one that is zippered. Caleb also has trouble with neck stuff. Uh, but Joe doesn't have a problem. I have a couple where as long as it is longer in the front give me a little bit of space i don't get like that claustrophobic feeling mary said i can't do alaska 2025 but i think i'm going to drive to seattle and stay the night before oh, the nice. cruise maybe crash the dinner oh. or maybe we can hook up with the bears keep it in mind wow how about this great. we are doing an alaskan cruise in august for Rachel, actually, it's technically September. Yeah. Uh, but for Rachel's birthday, but we leave like August 30th, and we're going to have to, because the flights from Fort Lauderdale to Seattle, they don't get in until like 11 o'clock at night. I've never been to Seattle. And I am not interested in that close time frame. So 11 o'clock at night, get on the cruise ship the next morning. Like, what happens if there's an issue? So we're going to actually go in on Wednesday. So we will be in Seattle all day Thursday and then, you know, into Friday morning before we get on the ship. So I think you should come to Seattle this year in August. Like that, what is it? It's going to be like August 29th or something like that. No pressure. But if someone's in the Seattle area, well, as we get closer to that time, we'll, we'll let everybody know kind of where we're at. Shauna said, Joe, where is your bubble wrap hat I made you? Exactly. I exactly, Shauna. I popped it because I love popping them. Trisha said, super windy, cold, and snowy here in Buffalo. Buffalo. Um, in, oh, Neely said, I thought I could trip you up. Exactly. <laughs> Don't worry. Like, you are not the first person who has asked us. I, we were talking to Matt from Matt's RV Reviews today, and he was like, Sid, did you win? I'm like, we can't tell you I that. I know. You know. But do, 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 do. even at the wrap-up party, you had sponsors, like, of the show. Trying to get you. Trying to ask us who won. We're like, we can't tell you that. You know, we sorry, we just can't tell you that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Jamie said it is 90 degrees oh. in Ecuador. Technically, it's summer, but the people we'll call can't it, call it winter. Wow, that's neat. Uh, Ola said, I've already started my own personal <laughs> summer. Fun times. I know what that means. I've totally been. And it's endless summer. It feels like endless summer. Uh, Andy said, now a new rig. What version did you buy? Uh, any? Unfortunately, we do not have a review video we of the one that we are doing. So you'll have to wait and find out. We I'm tried excited. to film one, but it was too noisy. Yeah. And now we recently got new microphones. I, I love my old microphones, but we went to the Florida RV Super Show. I left them at home. Amazon. Gotta love Amazon. Order something, and it literally showed up five hours Pick later a at a Wawa. local Wawa. If Wawa and lockers. it happens to be the new version of the DJI mics, which has the most amazing noise cancellation. Like, we were standing below an air conditioner, blowing on us. You're a... So amazing. And it, it comes through the audio as clear. So now anything that's not filmed with that, like, I don't want to even use it. It's like, they're that good. Yeah. Shy Girl said, Team Rachel, bring as much as you want, darling. Woo, woo, woo. No. 
Uh, Jamie said Joe doesn't want Rachel to wear a lot of clothes. No, Aww. I do not. That is absolutely true. Do, do. Roxanne said, Rachel, I'm so sorry for your loss. Love to you and your family. Thank you so much. Joanna said she finally broke a more than two-year <gasps> stall Ooh, down to 188.8. I'm in the 180s. Huzzah. Huzzah. That is awesome. That is awesome, Joanna. And I know that you have been super consistent. Like, you have been so consistent. You have been working. And I know you've been, like, tweaking things, working with, like, your the fat lever. We talk about that. It's it's not an easy thing when you're trying to get, like, what is right for you. That takes a lot of self-exploration. It's not like you can say, oh, this is exactly how much fat. This is exactly, this is the perfect knob. Like, yeah. you've got to do that hard work for yourself. I knew Mary was of our people, right? You mean like Luis, Lucille Ball in the big red trailer movie collecting basketball size yes. rocks down every... Yeah, so the long, if you want to see an amazing movie, I think that the long, long trailer with Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz is uh, the best movie slash so TV show they ever made together. It's I, so I think it's better than I Love Lucy. It's better than any other movie they ever made. You need to pump the brakes. It is. It is. It, it is so funny. You just cannot stop laughing what the entire movie. What is cute is the fact that it's, such, it's, it's, it's so old and yet still relatable. And it's... 100% true. It is true. Like, go to buy an RV, you buy an RV. Oh, wait, you don't have a big enough car? Oh, you need a new car. Oh, you need this. Oh, you need that. Chris said, yes, me too. RV storage, two paddle boards in the middle of a living room right now. How is that? Chris, have you tried those yet? I'm so excited to see your feedback because Chris actually got the paddle boards when we were at the RV Super Show in Tampa. Hers are like kicking awesome really really well made mm -hmm. we were blown away they also sold uh, a kayak that was just so nice very very sturdy even though it was an inflatable it was like quality o really nice trish said what are the best flavors of keto to make egg pudding i tried the chocolate and the lemon meringue but there's a chalky kind of taste that i'm not crazy about make sure make that sure you're, you're blending, blending it, it. i I really like butterscotch. I know that butterscotch is not currently available, but if you have any left, yeah. we made a giant batch of it, oh, took it with us on RV Unplugged, nice. and boy, was that a nice treat, and you were getting eggs. Like that The was thing nice. about it is you could make the egg pudding and eat the entire batch in a day and not exceed your macros. You're talking about you're eating a dozen eggs. There's nothing bad in it. We were rationing it out, though, because we just made one big batch. We were like rationing it like cigarettes in prison. We were like, oh, oh butterscotch. Oh, 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 it was really Barbara good. wants to know if we count carbs in black coffee. Not really. Um, it's just something. Now, if, we're, if, if you are Rachel and you are drinking one to two pots of coffee a day, which she doesn't do anymore. Shots fired. Um, but if, you, if you're there and you're drinking <laughs> if you're a Rachel pot level. of coffee and you're in a stall, you might want to look at that. You know, if you're drinking one or two cups of coffee a day, I honestly would not worry about it because there's 20 is not a magic number. It's not like, hey, 20 total carbs, I'm in ketosis, 22 carbs, I'm out of ketosis. Everybody's body is different. I think that's just the least thing to worry about. I, I wouldn't worry about the carbs in coffee. What is your magic number? I what wouldn't, is, I what is your favorite number? What's your favorite number? I don't have a favorite number. I, I guess seven. I like five. You like five? Okay. Um, I don't. I wouldn't really worry about the carbs in eggs. If if you're eating so many eggs and uh, so many carbs in eggs and so much carb right. in black coffee that you're exceeding your numbers, I would look elsewhere. And where else are you getting carbs that you probably don't need? Like eating an entire can of heavy whipping cream every day. I feel attacked. <laughs> Sean said, don't worry, I'm working on the cheese one, and, and that one I think is really going to be eye-opening, because Rachel yesterday made enchiladas. Ooh, they're good. Right? And the day before, I took meat thins, and what I do is I take meat thins, I put them on a plate, and then I reach my hand into a bag of shredded cheese, and I go, ploop, and then I melt it. How much is in that ploop? I have no idea, and I don't think I want to know, because I have a feeling it's like five or six servings, because a bag of shredded cheese does not last me very long when I Mel do Mel likes 42, which is the answer to all things. 42 probably should be our favorite number. Okay. 
Sean said, my Paycheck winter coat is a Washington Nationals World Series champs hoodie. Ooh. Going through security at work, you don't have to take off a hoodie, but you have to take off anything with wow. a zipper. Oh, that's good interesting. to know. That's interesting. I, I did, did not, not know, know that. that. Oh, there you go. Jinx, you owe me a Diet Coke. I do. Yeah. Uh, Karen said, notice you two are the only ones without Hawaiian lays in the RV plug group photo. You must have gotten a big <laughs> check. It's funny. Um, honestly, we just didn't put them on. I didn't put them on. I saw them and I was looking for a purple one because I was wearing a purple jacket um, and purple shoes and I didn't see a purple one. So that was that was the well, whole the reason, reason why I didn't grab where, one. Where you were getting them is, is when we came in for the wrap up party, there were free margaritas. And yeah. the lays where you got a margarita, they put a lay you on you. We weren't drinking margaritas. And we weren't drinking margaritas. Not that I wouldn't mind a margarita, but the margaritas sugar. got sugar syrup in it. So that's like a no-no for us. So um, that's that's the reason I didn't have it because I didn't bother. I didn't want to wait on line where everybody's waiting on line for margaritas. And I don't want to wait on that line just to get a lay. Right. Um, <laughs> I, don't. So I saw that one coming. <laughs> Balls. Let's distract ourselves with something less offensive. Uh, I read that one already. Uh, Connie, can you please explain why absolutely no sugar, even if part of carbs? Um, like why do we not eat? Why sugar? do we not eat sugar? Because sugar is going to spike your glucose. Yeah, that's it's not a, it's not a carb thing. It sugar is going to spike your glucose, even if it's only got a few carbs. It's going to spike your glucose. The idea behind like eating a low carb is you want to have a clear, straight glucose. You don't want to have these huge insulin spikes. Sugar is going to make your body create insulin. Insulin is a fat storing hormone. You can't lose weight in the presence of insulin. Also, your body doesn't need the sugar. Your, your body needs exactly the equivalent for glucose of one teaspoon of sugar in your blood at all times in the form of glucose. You never need to consume that. Your body will make it. One teaspoon for that's all your body needs. So why do we need to eat sugar? There are plenty of sugar alternatives if you want something that's sweet that is not going to spike your insulin, that is not going to spike your glucose. And sugar is And it's the most addictive so substance addictive. on earth. Yeah. Like literally sugar is the most addictive substance and they get us addicted to it literally the day we are born. If your child or if you are were born in a hospital, they literally begin giving you that glucose the day you're born. And sugar water. Like, we we just get addicted to it so easily. There's a reason most people suggest when you have an, a baby and they start giving them food, you should not be giving them even like sweet potatoes and stuff. Give them the meats and thing because as soon as they get that taste for something sweet, a lot of times they don't want the yeah. other stuff. Um, uh, Annie's having brisket for her birthday dinner Next on Monday. Monday. We're going to sing on Monday. Cause I want to sing right now. Cause I, you know, cause I'm like, oh, I will remember it. But I want to, I want to sing on Monday. Cause her birthday's actually on Monday. Um, Jamie, I, I, I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> um, base it on last year. That's what I'll say. Cause I don't know how they want that revealed. But I will say that the general public will not find out who won. Until the rally, the rally. We'll so watch it they, together. They, they will play the episode live at the rally. It will also be live on YouTube, but that is when the general public. Mary finds bought out. her Keto Palooza tickets today. Three hundred and thirty-six Canadian. Ouch. ouch! That is an ouch. Goodness, boy, we're so thankful that you made that investment, though, Mary, because I get to see you at Keto Palooza. Jana's just fasted for an entire week. Her A one C is five point two. Way that to go! Is awesome. That is awesome. Donna Joe is going to Vegas tomorrow for Tiffany's meetup. Nice. Uh, Amanda said, wow, that's a good price. I paid that for one ticket to Little Rock, but I'm going there for the, <gasps> the Eclipse. Eclipse. Yes. So I think they are priced. I know a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, I would love to go to the Eclipse, but that's when we have to go to Elkhart. Yeah. Um, uh, Paul said, JetBlue is always fun to play higher or lower. <laughs> Sabrina made hamburgers in the air fryer for the first time. What do you think? 
Uh, it for sure won't be the last. Crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Air fryer is starting to be my favorite way to cook meat. We're hearing that more and more. Like people cooking steak in the air fryer. And if you want some tips, check out like air frying Annie. I mean, yeah, air frying Auntie, Shauna, because she is a genius with the air fryer. So I, I maybe I missed one. Connie may have been asking for sugar like in bacon because Jamie answered if there's a little sugar in bacon that makes it for less than one carb per serving. Joe says he doesn't worry. Yeah. Dr. Barry said the same thing. So listen, when it comes to meats that are cured, so like pepperoni, different things like bacon, meat sticks, they do use sugar for the curing process. It gets eaten up in the curing process. The same thing, when you have bacon, when you cook it, any sugar that may be left over from that curing process is going to get cooked off. It's the same thing like if you, like... Zero carb alcohols, like so, like the uh, the seltzers? seltzers and things like that. You're gonna see sugar in the ingredients. The sugar is actually what makes it alcohol. So the can may say there's two carbs, but honestly, there's probably less. It's just how much sugar they actually put in there. It, it you have to look at where the sugar is. I don't worry about it in bacon because it's gonna get cooked off. Now that does I would avoid things like maple cured bacon, where stuff it's like that. Where heavily sweetened. To me, if there is more than where the label says like one carb, if it says one carb or less than one carb for a reasonable serving, which is usually at least two normal size slices, I don't worry about it. If it says more than that, run away from it because you don't need it. Personally, I like cured bacon. A lot of people like, let's say, oh, I want uncured. I like cured bacon. I want bacon Double cured. that's got the Cure nitrites it. in it. And if you're worried about that, there's more nitrites in your saliva than is in that bacon. bacon. It mm -hmm. cures what ails you. Um, Sean said, if you drink flavored coffee, will you break a fast? I like blackout coffee, blueberry crumble. N technically, coffee. most people will tell you coffee will break a fast. When we're fasting, we drink black coffee. Yeah. Those those flavored coffees, they're just putting an artificial and natural flavor. What they're doing is they're roasting the beans and to tossing in there. You're not adding anything extra to it other than flavoring. So there's no sugar or anything like that. It's literally just the flavoring, and I would not worry about it. That That's where, like, you're trying to pick pe pepper out of poop. Like, right. If, if you're going to drink the coffee... If you like the flavored coffee, go, go ahead and it. drink it. Some people will say they don't like dealing with the natural or the artificial flavors. That's up to each individual person. Keto Seppel's here. What's up, Dustin? Um, Shauna said Joe needs to wear a body cam while refing. Yeah, I, I know, right? Seriously, you would see a lot of action. Lynette, one thing I love about lacrosse is, for the most part, lacrosse is a very good sport. Uh, Lynette said, on my phone, so chatting is tough. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Miss you, precious friends. Adrian is here. What's up, beautiful? Trish said, MSC is not worth the cheap fare. Oh. Yeah, they're trying to break into the American market, but they're, they're not an American cruise line. They're trying really hard, but... Uh, Mary said, I had a horrible week at work. Oh, it's no. over now. Thankfully, I have such awful coworkers. But the good news is their office is 100 kilometers away. So I could be sweet in email while saying out loud. Right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That could be so stinking stressful. It really can. Joanna puts Lugal's iodine in her morning coffee and doesn't taste it. Yeah, we'll put iodine yep. in if we're not using the daily minerals. But if you're using the daily minerals, you really don't need it. Shauna said, I watched my nephew's first college lacrosse game at UC Davis. Wow, wow they are tough. Yeah, college, college is like a whole different game because that ball moves. I've been people said, well done uh, to other times. We've gotten to spend a week in Cancun for just hundreds of dollars, and we just say no. It was hard at first. Yeah, Joe. You have to have that personality yeah, to say no. Joe Like, I'm the guy that will sit down, like, we were looking at an RV just to, we wanted to look at it, and of course now you got to kind of go through their whole spiel trying to sell it. And they're like, this price, nope, get up. And then what I can't stand is, is I get up, and they're like, well, let me lower the price more. You should have given me the lower price. Now I'm kind of like done with you, but sometimes I will play the game. I'll be like, honey, we, we when when I say we're going, we're going. And she's like, no. I'm, I'm already like, sweating. I'm like, My what? armpits are just sweated you out. You have to get up and walk away because they're going to chase you. And, and I'm if like, they don't chase you, then it's not the right let's car. Let's just not hurt their feelings and just buy whatever they say. 
Uh, Dustin said, have you looked into DVC? I'm not sure uh, I've heard you talk about that before. I don't know what DVC is. You have to let me know. Yeah. Crystal said, I may have only missed it, but how does the mineral capsules look in your hand or a couple? Uh, let's see. Pretty normal. Honestly, I thought these things They're would the be... They're the same size. I thought they'd be horse pills. You just I need really a lot did. of them. Yeah. I thought they'd... I, I just thought every single one would be like... A horse pill. Oh, uh, Juliana said, I got my tooth fixed. No cavities, good. not a good day, but still got to call it a great yeah. day, I guess. Oh, I'm just, I'm really glad that that got resolved. I'm so sorry. Trish loves to haggle. I can make a car salesman cry. Okay, this, you need to hook up with Trish. I, I, because I, like I am it. not your girl for that. Dustin said, we spent a night at a Kia dealer last night, helped our daughter get into a new How lease. How nice. It is more stressful. So like... I love you, and I appreciate this. It is more stressful to get your child into a car than it is for you to get into your own car. Because you want to put them in something safe. You're just so concerned about their safety, like they're making the payments, them feeling comfortable, them getting what they want. Like, there's so many things. Like, we would get into a car. I got to trim my nose. Here. And I just needed four wheels. Oh, Disney vacation. And it needs to run. Right? So I don't care what it looks like, how I feel about myself, like any of those things. But it's different when you're trying to get your kid into a car. It yeah. just is. Yeah. We actually had a friend um, who, when his daughter turned 16, got her a Hummer yep. because he was so concerned. He wanted her in a safe car. He was so concerned about her driving that he got her a Hummer. Sabrina said that's me and Mark uh, to a T. He wants to ask, is that the best deal you got? Walk I walk away. away. Me and Sabrina, you you guys need to go purchase things together now, and we'll go Paul shopping. said the thrill of getting a discount is half the fun. <sighs> no. And Shauna said not me. I'll be in the bathroom with Rachel and Mary. Thank you very much. <laughs> um... Adrian said, I can't negotiate at all. Because of this, I have a ginormous tattoo on my foot and ankle. She spent an hour hand drawing it, and I didn't want to get up to hurt her feelings. Now, every time I look at it, 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 it remembers uh, I need to work on saying no. Adrian, I sent you an email about uh, travel protection. I don't know if you got it or not, if you didn't let me know. Um, so, Joe has said, DVC is Disney Vacation Club. We've okay. never really looked at it because living in Florida... We're annual pass holders for Disney, and our thing has always been, I think we've stayed at a Disney resort twice. Once when John Paul was playing in travel ball, and it, like they gave you a hotel room because it was a Disney tournament. And the second time was, we had a bunch of Disney points on our credit card, and we took Rachel's mom there after her dad passed away. Yeah. We, we tend to just go up to Orlando. Now we just bring our RV, but we would just go up to Orlando and go, all we're doing is we need a place to stay. We we don't need a luxurious resort. We we would look at these places and be like, oh, swimming pools. We never use them. No. So because we would go to the park. Right. So it's believe me, we've stayed in some decent places and we've stayed in shady places. One time we stayed, we literally were. It putting, was a no tell hotel. We were putting the couch in front of the door. That's fun because, because there was like drug busts going on around us. It was cheap. It was a cheap it, hotel room. It was room. like this. Listen, this is within our marriage. And it was like twenty eight dollars for the night. That that's twenty eight dollars. And you, what is really fun? And I, I, we cannot be the only parents that have felt nervous, like we have felt insecure, and yet you want to provide a front to the children. Everything's fine. Mommy and daddy are not worried at all. We're not thinking that we're all going to get murdered tonight. We're not worried a bit. And so it's like. We're literally moving the furniture in the room in front of the doors and windows because clearly we are scared that somebody's going to try to come in on us. And the kids are asking, like, what are you doing? And we're like, oh, we thought it would be fun to, like, rearrange the furniture and see what the room would look like like this. Yeah. Uh, Evan People Good says, we don't haggle. We just say no. We are cheap. Just doing this for the deal. Yeah. They understand. You just got a rotten salesperson. Okay. That's good. Well, you should have seen us. So when we were uh, done filming everything with RV Unplugged, we wanted to go look at an RV that we had not seen at a local RV dealership. We had no intentions of buying this RV. We were just looking. We were just looking. And then so the salesperson is like showing us everything. We're filming videos. <laughs> yeah. And then she sits us down and, and I, I'm like, no, no. What if we do? No. What if we, no. And Rachel's like, we I'm need dying. to go. She's like, I, and she's like, I'm going outside. I'm like, no, you're not. Just sit here. Please like, let me leave. So, um, 
Joanna said, I am not a haggler either. New Jersey car dealers don't haggle anymore. Not sure about South Carolina where I live. So they, I don't, love they don't really haggle Max. in Florida anymore either. Listen, the deal now is here, if you want to buy a new car, you're not paying below sticker generally. You're going to pay sticker. If you're lucky, what you do is you go online, look on their website. That's going to be the best price. The is whatever's price. on the internet price. Because when you get to the dealer, they're going to have a thing a lot of times, at least here in Florida, like, here's the sticker price. That's the price. We don't lower because they don't make any money anymore. And then they make their money in the dealer fee. And then they'll put this thing like, plus $3,000 for paint protection package, which is pretty much just wax. It's it's a garbage deal. But when you look on... <laughs> what do you really think? When you, Now, if you go in and that's... You got to pay that because they're going to tell you it's already applied. Okay. And so, the, but if you go onto the internet, on their internet price, it's never listed. It will just say, this is the price plus the dealer fee taxes. And so then you got to bring the internet and go, that's it. And when they say, no, this, now you walk away. They'll chase you because they know that they didn't really put the wax thing on. And if they did, it cost them like $18 and they're charging you $3,000 for it. But there is no... Now, used cars. You can negotiate used, used cars. Used cars. And you can negotiate on RVs because they have an MSRP and you should never pay anything more than 25% off of that MSRP. This is... The MSRP is a joke. This is above my pay grade. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Katie can't haggle either. I'm so glad I'm not alone. Kathy was offered a senior discount. I asked how much was the discount. 10% was not enough to admit yeah, I, was I was a senior. senior. <laughs> Man, I you know what? I, you know, I, I like to be a straight shooter. I want to be truthful. And I was at a thrift store one time and they were like, it's Wednesday. We do have a senior discount if you're a senior. And I was like, uh, okay, I'm not 55 yet. I can't, I can't get on, in on the senior discount yet. But I was close because I was like, hey, this $5 shirt could be 20% off of yeah. $5. But Oh, FMB just said my hubby is a graphic designer, but he has a full-time job, something that can be done on the side. Yes, it's something. We're not like in a super, super Wow, hurry. we've got a lot of hubbies that are graphic designers. How cool is that? We, but we, it's, it's something we want to do. Chris said, I bet ChatGBT on the AI and Canva should be a logo for you. Oh, we've tried... It definitely gave us some interesting things that were really cool, but nothing that would equate to both a black and white and a color logo. Very interesting things, though, it spit out. Um, Amanda said, I just got my keto chow order, planning to try calm, uh, a clam chowder nice. for supper with a new baked potato soup. Finger crossed. I think that's a great idea. That's a great use for that. Mary's daughter is a graphic designer. I'm going to ask oh, her if she'd cool. like to put her name forward. I love that. Yeah, we're not looking this for it to be free. We just, but we want something good. Yeah. Like that we didn't draw ourselves one day when we were laying in bed. <laughs> like what we currently have. Juju B said, I got myself a used espresso machine for my classroom to me to, because of me for, for Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Living my best coffee life. Nespresso is magical. Your girl is drinking black coffee. It really it is, is really, really, really good. magical. So funny, funny story. The night before, actually, was it the yeah? It was the day, the morning before filming begins for RV Unplugged. So we're at Camp Margaritaville. You got one last trip so to the store if you need one. It's, it's Sunday morning. Filming begins Monday, where you have to leave Camp Margaritaville and go to where we're filming, which is outside of Camp Margaritaville, and we're boondocking. So we get up in the morning. Rachel's like, "I want coffee," and I'm like, I knew we had to descale the coffee machine. So I. I'm going to get up. I'm going to... It's it's fried. It doesn't work. And I was like, She Wait, looks at me. What? 7.30 in the morning on Sunday. She's like... No coffee? Get your butt to Target. I don't care how much it costs. Get me a new Nespresso machine. Because we've got like five sleeves of Nespresso. You know how there's shirts that say, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry for what I said when we were parking the RV. I'm sorry for what I said when we had a broken coffee maker. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was uncalled Jana's for. Joanna's full team zipper hoodie if I have a choice. I like a zipper. I like zipper ones. My big thing is it has to have a pocket. I know. It has to have a pocket. Like I have, I don't which hoodie is it that doesn't have a pocket and I keep reaching for a pocket? Lori was, it was, there's a Royal Caribbean one. My Royal Caribbean one because does Lori not have a Because Lori had a gotten pocket, one too and she and was I'm like, like, 
She keeps... Where's the pocket? I know. And so you're kind of just doing this the whole time, like trying to put your hands in it, and it's not there. Oh, Amanda said she would do a meetup in Seattle. Noise! Uh, Uncle Big Guy is a sweatshirt guy, but not a hoodie. See, I, I only like hoodies. I do not Honey, like regular sweatshirts. I don't like... I don't oh, like, I don't mind a sweatshirt. I don't like sweatshirts. Okay. Mary said, excuse me, Seattle in August, you guys are Yay! on. You should have booked out of Vancouver and paid Canadian funds and saved 30% right off the top. Ooh. We actually got a really, really good deal on, on the cruise. We booked it super early. We like actually booked it. I booked it like on a low carb cruise last year when she realized she liked cruising. I, I booked none. And I had no idea what happening. And the happening. cool thing about this cruise is now Chris and Miriam are coming. So Rachel and Miriam get to spend their birthdays together yes. on an Alaskan cruise. I'm so excited about that. I miss that lady's face. Yeah, because we were supposed to see her a couple weeks ago and then the weather was bad and no diving. Uh, Chris said, according to Google, two hours and 38 minutes, but that's in car time, RV time, probably... Two hours two and 30 hours minutes to Titusville? I need to just go to Titusville in a it car. It takes us three hours to get to Orlando. I need to just go to Titusville in a car. Because wow. that's not very far at now, all. Now, remember, when we when we go up to Elkhart, we're not bringing an RV. We're driving my truck. You know, we're going to pick up an RV. And we're selling our RV down here because, like, it on a trade, it's, like, stupid. Like, they want to give me $10,000. Want $5? No. You want $5? No, I will no. sell it. Uh, Jamie said, is there an unpoppable bubble wrap and whoever invented it should be tried for crimes against <laughs> humanity? I agree. Because uh, it's my favorite thing to Both do. Anthony and Joe can, cannot pass up bubble wrap. Uh, if you were Joanna a villain, said, I have you guys help me to not give up. Oh, I love you, Joanna. Um, so if you were an evil villain and I was trying to like like stop you and get away... I would just have to throw a bubble wrap at you. Yeah. Because you can't ignore it. No, I can't. It's like that would be it. That would ha that's how that's his Achilles heel. Chris said the paddle boards are so much fun. She's gonna send us. <gasps> Yay! Back. I'm so glad you like it. I thought you would love it. I really did. Uh. Nancy says team hoodie all the way. They're cute. Oh, she, Chris said Carrie Brown has a video on how to make a perfect pork chop. Um, hello. Or a recipe. She had the cutest picture of her, like, from years ago recently on her website that was so stinking cute. She, she's, she's a gorgeous lady now. It was, it was so cute, though, seeing her, like, you know, as a baby. As Franny a baby said, is seven your favorite number because it is the perfect spiritual number? I like it for that reason, yes. And you like five. Because it's the number for Grace. Yep. Um... What is this one? Uh, Loian salt, salt brine pork chops makes them caramelize without beans. Yum, Ooh. yum, yum. I have to try that. Balls. Anything else? Oh, Joanna made the bacon cheeseburger nice. casserole. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Hint to add a, a ton, ton of, of pickles. pickles. I need to make it again. That, I ton like to pickles. add a lot of pickles. I do too. Katie is going to make the enchiladas tomorrow. They're good. And easy, super I, easy. I ate them yesterday, I ate them for lunch today, and then I will be eating them after the live stream. They're good. And easy, and they can make a big batch. I'm telling you, that's and Siete really, sauce. And really, like, it is, it, the, the turkey, especially if you, now we're using a thicker cut turkey, but if you get, like, thin sliced turkey breast. It's really like, nice. It's, like, indistinguishable from using, like, a tortilla to make the enchiladas. That's why when you make the meat layer lasagna, it's like that. That, that like, it, it just, it really mimics a pasta noodle really well. Joanna buys the normal cheap bacon. It's fatty, and it cooks up great. Chris is going to San Antonio for the eclipse, and we're heading to a meetup a few days before. Nice. Yep, that, I saw that on the low-carb events. Uh, Christy. I use Splendid Granulated Monk Fruit to sweeten my coffee. I checked the label. It was high in carbs, but it's offset by erythritol. Is this okay for me to use? I never thought to check the label before. Okay, so here's the thing about Splenda. Splenda is a brand. People confuse Splenda with, like, um, sucralose. Splenda, the original Splenda, was basically made so that you could measure a zero calorie sweetener like cup, cup for cup, cup. For with sugar. But it uses sucralose as the sweetener. Well, sucralose is 600 times sweeter than sugar. So if you use liquid sucralose, which is actually only 25% powdered sucralose, 
liquid sucralose, like two drops is equal to two teaspoons of sugar. It's going to burn your face off. So I cannot explain how small of an amount of actual sucralose you would need. It's like less than a 50, 5 64th of a teaspoon. It's like immeasurable to go cup for cup. So what they would do is they take this little bit of actual pure uh, sucralose and they would mix it with regular Splenda. It's mixed with the base of dextrose and maltodextrin, which is actually worse than sugar. Somehow they can get away with calling it like zero sugar. And the problem is, is it actually has a higher glycemic index than sugar. So you're gonna completely jack up your insulin using Splenda but it's the brand. So now they've begun taking things like, monk fruit is just like sucralose. Monk fruit, which is just a natural sweetener. Teeny tiny. The same thing. That it is, it is a, like, yeah. I think it's like. Pin top. A 5 64th of a teaspoon is equal to a teaspoon of sugar. So you can't, again, measure it out. So if you're gonna use any kind of granulated monk fruit, they have to blend it with something as a bulking agent. So what Splenda is doing here is they are using erythritol. So monk fruit, zero total carbs. Erythritol, four carbs per teaspoon. I personally would count that because again, you don't want to overdo it. Also, erythritol can cause gastric express in a lot of people and it does have a cooling effect. Now, when they mix it with monk fruit, it's not as much of a cooling effect, but it still does have a cooling effect. So that's why when we're using a granulated sweetener, we tend to use uh, bocha sweet or really what we really like is allulose. The only problem with allulose is it's only 70% as sweet as sugar. So you're going to have to up the sweetness with some liquid, with usually. either liquid sucralose liquid stevia or liquid monk fruit. If you're using stevia, a lot of people don't like stevia because it can be bitter. Get the newer form. So like, for example, like uh, keto chow in their salty, they're using the newer forms and the newer forms- A lot less bitter. They are not as bitter. And if you have a ragweed in, uh, in, uh, allergy, a lot of times you can use it. It's a purified stevia. So try that. Just putting one or two drops of liquid stevia along with having a granulated allulose and see how that works. So, but it's everybody's, up, but I would count the carbs. One more. Uh, can we just look at Daryl's comment right there? I think that's so awesome. We have a problem since getting the Kasori I dehydrator. It. It's right at the end. I am at the end. It's not showing up right here. there. Oh, Boop. there, oh, you go. there you go. Uh, we have a problem since getting the Kasori dehydrator. We make three pounds of bacon jerky every few days. Joe, you created a bacon jerky addiction. Actually, very handy for uh, snacking, snacks and meals. Thanks. Yeah, I love it. It is. It's so easy to make, and it, I love the fact that the bacon does not shrink. Like you have great big logs of bacon. That is delicious. Dustin said, the more times we go to the dealership process, the more I want to go to Tesla. My buddy got a Model Y. We showed up. We got an email. It unlocked the car, signed one formula. And there is talks in the automotive industry that they a lot of the companies want to do that. They want to kind of go the Tesla route. They're trying to figure out what they would do because you're going to pretty much eliminate the need for dealers and you're gonna have some issues there. But I know Ford has talked about possibly going that Tesla route. And they have come down, especially here in Florida, like when you were coming out of the COVID era where in, in Florida at least, they were doing things like selling their cars and trucks above sticker going, hey, we're having an issue right now. Like what were they calling it? Uh, market availability fee. So they were selling cars for like five, $6,000 over MSRP. Mm. And Ford came in and said, if we catch you doing it, we're going to pull your dealership. We're just going to su stop supplying you with cars. But that's why John Paul bought his first work van in, in Kentucky. Kentucky. We flew into Lexington, picked it up in Lexington and drove it home because they weren't doing that. Right. Uh, Joanna said, I used to drive a Gremlin. I have to tell you, it was the best car yeah. I ever owned. It was a tank. All I metal. have heard that about people who've had gremlins, that it was awesome. 
Uh, Chris said, I can't do Tesla. won't allow uh, Apple CarPlay or Google Android Auto. I will not support closed ecosystems and vendor lock-in. Um, I like electric cars, but for the way we drive, it just wouldn't work. That's why we have a hybrid. Um, let's see. Anything before we get off? Just looking. Do you let's see? see. I see Robin F says, back when Saturn was a car, they had no haggle policy. It would have been really easy to buy the car online, go and do everything via email and pick up the car with a key. I remember that because one of my editors at the newspaper, she had a Saturn. And I remember her saying that that was something that she really loved. It was like a deciding factor on her getting the car was the fact that she didn't have to haggle. That like she, when you, you thought, well, this is the value of the car. I feel good about buying this. This has all the features that I want. Just go in and buy it and not worry that if you're not great at haggling, you're not getting a good deal. Do you remember what a big selling point of Saturn was? Um, no matter what, I remember. Um, tell me. You couldn't dent the doors. They were made. I out don't of, remember that. Yeah, they were made out of plastic, so they you would go to a dealership and they would kick the door. Oh wow! And it would bounce back because it wasn't metal. It, yeah. It, but that was the selling point of Saturn is that you couldn't dent. It. Remember, like the Yugo. Like, I remember you, wanting in a Yugo, that. You go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you go solo places because no one will date you. It's like when I grew up I like in New York, Ford Yugo. stood for found on road dead. Hey. Because, well, we're Ford family now. My dad was a Chevy guy. But when I was growing up, Chevy engines lasted forever, but the bodies would rust out. Ford's, the body would last forever, but the engine would die. I remember we did have a Chevy Nova and it lasted forever. In fact, when my mother finally got rid of that 1979 Chevy Nova. I was well into, it was right before, I was in eighth grade. And it, we, she actually sold it to somebody who used the engine in like race cars. They did race cars. But I don't know if anybody knows my like terrible story. Now remember, morbidly obese for most of my life. Super chubby kid, middle school was miserable. My mother had a 1979 Chevy Nova at the time still, and the, the passenger side door opened precisely one time a day. By the time we were getting rid of it, one time a day. And my brother went to elementary school before I went to middle school. So guess who got to have his car door open every day? He did. All right, you know how I got out of the car when my mom dropped me off? I had to climb out the window. I had to climb out the window of the car in middle school to get out. <laughs> I was a super chubby Uber nerd. And when I would have trouble getting out of the car window, like I'm trying to exit to middle school like the Dukes of Hazard, and it was not cool. I did not look like Bo or Luke Duke. My we mom binge watch Dukes of Hazzard. My mom would be like, "That's okay, baby." And she went to she went to work after she dropped me off at school. So she's wearing like no kidding, moo moo and hair curlers. So she would be like, "Well, you could get out on my side, on the driver's side." But that means that my mom has to get out of has to get out of the car to let me out of the car. So I would beg, "Please, please drop me off a block from school. It's like impossible." And and it was like, "No, no, no. It's fine. I want to drive you up to the front." And I'm like, "Oh, yeah, GGB said Ford also said for fix or repair daily. That yes. was that was her. Somebody else said the same thing. I remember. Joe said the problem with Saturn was they used Allen wrenches and proprietary screw heads. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it, it, it is kind of comical the way we, things go. Carrie said he had an uncle way back in the day. The, the, their, his gremlin only drove backwards. Oh, my gosh. My uncle. Oh, Deborah bought two Saturns because they didn't dent. Wow. So my uncle had, he had a Ford truck. And it, its body did not last. It fell apart and the um, passenger side floorboard rotted out. And I remember a huge argument between my aunt and uncle coming into a Thanksgiving one year because on her way over to my grandparents' house, she lost her shoe out the out the floorboard because there was no floorboard and she was wearing sandals and it fell off and she came into my grandparents house with one shoe on just yelling at him that like I cannot believe you can't fix this floorboard and now I have to walk around today with one shoe. Juliana said Juliana said she wishes she had an electric car. 
I we almost bought one, and even the the salesman talked us out of it. Yeah, he was like, if you want to drive to Orlando and stuff, you're only getting one way, and then you have to charge it up. So like, if you're doing little local things, I think it's great. If you're if you're doing 10, 20, 30 miles a day, it really depends. But if you're like us you. and you're gonna do two, three hour car trips for, I love our hybrid, and it's funny. Um, so my truck, I I. Within a week of getting the truck, I pulled out the fuel tank. I put a 60-gallon fuel tank in, which is great. I can go 1,250 miles on a single tank of fuel if I'm not towing the RV. And I can go about 600 miles if I'm towing the RV. Awesome. Till you have to fuel it up. When we were filming RV Unplugged, we had a driving around to do and getting up there. I never bought or putting fuel in, so it dropped below a half a tank. It cost me $200 <laughs> to fill my fuel tank, and it was just below a half a tank. Yeah. Today, we're driving around in my hybrid Hyundai, which gets 60 miles to a gallon, and I had less than a half a tank, and it cost me $21 to fill up. And I can go about 600 Way miles different. on a tank of fuel with that. So. Oh, Sandy says, I still have my 1996 Honda Accord manual five-speed. It was in perfect condition until I was rear-ended by a semi in 2021. Talk uh, about a car that lasts. That is amazing. Okay, we've gotten way into car talk. Sorry. But uh, we're gonna, we actually are going to end with this one from Adam. Hey, Adam. Said, for those who have lost too much muscle due to bariatric surgeries what do you think about bringing out carbs temporarily to gain back muscle if you want my honest opinion now I we are not doctors nurses not or health professionals that. but as a certified um master health coach and as someone who's done a lot of research i think it's a terrible idea you do not need carbs to build muscle protein you need protein you need to hit the gym you need to lift heavy things you don't need to hit the gym for three and four hours a day uh, you need to start off with functional fitness. Push-ups, pull-ups, squats, planks, lift heavy things every once in a while. Go to Walmart if you don't, or not to Walmart. Well, you can in Walmart too. But go to Home Depot, carry bags of rocks around. If you are missing a lot of muscle, you've lost a lot of muscle, it is hard. The older we get, the harder it is to gain that muscle back. But it's protein. It's not carbs. Carbs has nothing to do with protein. You, you need, you need, carbs has nothing to do with muscle. muscle. Uh, you need the protein and then you also need to make sure you're consuming enough fat for to fuel your body and fuel your workouts. I would honestly, if if that's something you want to do, I'd contact Robert from uh, Keto Savage. He's got a great program. You can get him to coach you if you need to build a bus a bunch of muscle. But he's going to give you protein, but he's going to put you on a higher fat to really help you fuel those workouts. But it's nothing to do with carbs. I think carbs is actually going to hold you back from putting on more Very muscle. Very much. Just my personal opinion based on what I've learned and studied. But again, if you want to look like Robert, if you want to build muscle, that's the person to talk to, and not me. And or, he's or, not or even our good friend Jonathan Chain, the Keto Rose, who, who can coach you with things. But he will introduce carbs for certain things, but it will have nothing to do with building muscle. Yeah. And it, it's very specific times, usually with women, uh, in dealing with different hormonal issues and stuff like that. But that's that's where I would go. Uh, so we're going to get off right now. We, we've been on for almost an hour and a half. because Thanks we missed for you hanging guys. out. Uh, we will be back live on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern time for Keto Beyond the Couch. Uh, tomorrow sometime, I, we meant to do it while we were filming RV Unplugged, but we just never had the opportunity because we were exhausted every day. We're going to do the um, Keto Chow unboxing for the February Keto Chow box. Don't tell and nobody. give it away. We're going to give that we're away. Only, well. we're, we're only 15 days into this month. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, we brought it with us and then we're gonna give it away, though. weren't able to do it. So we're going to give that away tomorrow on a video tomorrow. Uh, we also have a couple videos that I need to edit from RV Unplugged, like prepping our food, what, what we, we brought, were eating. <laughs> excuse God bless me, you. Uh, and a couple of other things. So, and and now that we're getting back into the groove of things, we we we're working on the cheese video, right? And then a couple more five minute videos. So Let's we appreciate do it. everybody for joining us again. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell button so that you're notified when all of those videos come out. Have a great night. Bye.